All right, so uh, Sammy Leon Lawrence the fourth and Michelle Rodriguez. That's two of the other victims of Officer Lolotai. Both of them said they wanted to help. Now, Sammy, he did the right thing by trying to work together and coordinate with other victims. Same thing with Michelle Rodriguez. However, Darren O'Connor helped both of them. But he didn't help me. He could have. He could have. But he didn't. He wouldn't. What's the difference between myself and Michelle Rodriguez? Well, she has a roof over her head. Not one like this. She's also a minority and a female. How about Sammy Leon Lawrence the Fourth? Well, he has a roof. Not like this. He's also a minority. How about Zade Atkinson? Well, he has a roof. And, uh, he's also a minority. So what we're talking about is exactly the shit that I was talking about. With Darren O'Connor pretending to be all pro homeless people like we're human beings but when it comes down to it and we need somebody in our corner he's not going to do it he's not going to show up he's not going to make a report I'm not black enough I'm not female enough I'm too homeless now Michelle Rodriguez blocked me for absolutely no reason Sammy Leon Lawrence the fourth as well They probably don't like the things that I have to say about Darren. And it makes sense. They want to protect the person who they feel is protecting them. Except that person didn't protect me. That person didn't come forward with the truth about me. Now I'm still fighting for Sammy Leon Lawrence IV. And Michelle Rodriguez. They deserve to have rights as human beings. They deserve to not be treated like homeless people. But you know what? The homeless people deserve not to be treated like homeless people too. Now, Michelle, she blocked me about three weeks ago. Two weeks ago, something like that. Why did she block me? I don't know. She was all gung-ho about helping me, and then, magically, we're not friends. Okay, well, that's cool. Sammy Leon Lawrence the fourth sent me a message this morning and then blocked me. I can't see his message. I have no fucking clue what the hell he typed. I do know that he blocked me immediately after typing it though, so Sammy Leon Lawrence the fourth is a bitch in my book. He's still a human being though, so I'm going to continue fighting for his rights. <laughs> Darren O'Connor, on the other hand, I hope he ends up homeless. Then he gets to feel the full brunt of the uh, Boulder PD. It don't matter if you're a fucking lawyer. Boulder PD doesn't fucking care. If you're homeless, you're a fucking animal and that's it. It's your word against theirs and they will use public opinion against you. They will refuse to gather facts. They will refuse to talk to any of the witnesses. And they will destroy evidence. Fuck Darren O'Connor. And Sammy Leon Lawrence the Fourth, I'm fighting for your rights, but you still a bitch. Michelle Rodriguez, I'm fighting for your rights too. In order to respect you guys, though, you have to fight for our rights. Ours. We the people. If you're only going to fight for women's rights, or immigrants' rights, or black rights, or Mexican rights, you don't belong here. 
You are too much of a coward to fight for the Constitution. Don't tell me that you joined the military to fight for our Constitution. You may have. That may have been your intent, but it's not what you ended up doing now, is it? I'm not going to stop speaking out. I won't. There's a whole bunch of white homeless people who went through the same shit that Samuel Leon Lawrence IV, Michelle Rodriguez, and Zade Atkinson went through. Except actual homeless people get it worse. Samuel Leon Lawrence IV was not hiding in a house with his camera, which is why he was so brutally fucked up. By the same officer who assaulted me in January of last year, by the way. They had a thing on Denver News about that officer. And Darren O'Connor was asked by Denver News. He brought up Sammy Leon Lawrence IV, who lives in a house. He brought up Michelle Rodriguez, who lives in a house. He brought up Zade Atkinson, who lives in a house. He didn't bother to bring up the names of the uh, three white homeless people who uh, endured exactly the same punishment. Or worse. Didn't even try. Another one of the officers who assaulted me. Officer Burke. There's at least two homeless people who are trying to get protection orders against this officer. Darren O'Connor didn't do a goddamn thing about that either. Why? Because white homeless people aren't human to your fucking society.